Le, le tour du monde, le parcours il est magnifique parce qu'on traverse euh, tous les océans de, de la planète quasiment. Sailing around the world is great because you cross all the oceans. Today it's the one form of sailing that represents true freedom. I grew up in Brest, close to the sea. I started sailing with my family, with my grandparents and my parents on small wooden boats, dinghies and then on a little cruising boat. At the age of 12 or 13, I was fascinated by the Solitaire de Figaro race, and that hasn't changed. A few years later, I managed to do the Figaro, and since then, I haven't stopped sailing. I sailed the laser for 10 years, and did an Olympic campaign in sailing for the Atlantic Olympic Games with Yves Lourdes, and at the same time I was already sailing a bit of Figaro. In France we have trials for young sailors, and after I won one of those races, I managed to get a boat for a season. I couldn't find a sponsor for the following year, so I went sailing on big multi-hulls. I did the Jules Verne Trophy on big multi-hulls for five years, Geronimo, Orange 2, Group Armour 3, Bank Populaire 5, Sailing a Mocha 60s is quite demanding because the boats are still quite complicated. There's hydraulics, computer systems and mechanical engineering to deal with. You have to know a little bit about everything and then obviously you have to know how to trim the sails and handle strategy and tactics. My best memory on an Amoka 60? It's in the southern seas. They hold fantastic memories for me because the boats surf so fast on the slopes of the big waves. We get up to 25 knots sometimes. These are good memories. But there are many others. The last time when we passed between the islands of New Zealand, the landscape was beautiful. That's a very good memory too. Bad memories? None. Or only small ones. When you turn left in Ushuaia to abandon the race, That's a bad memory, because the race was over and the whole project is suddenly over. It's always difficult to see. There are tough times, but we go back every time. So it's not really about bad memories. I sail a lot, and when I'm not sailing, I work at home preparing for the next sail. I take care of my children, I walk in the countryside, play music, and read a little. I think it's above all the feeling of freedom. I feel comfortable on the water. I really enjoy every moment of the beautiful surroundings, which is not necessarily the case for all competitors. No, there's nothing that scares me especially. When you see hurricanes building or big depressions that you know you're going to be in, you're a little anxious. But at the same time, we can prepare ourselves to go through that kind of thing. <laughs>